I don't know whether you'd call today's route sandbagged or just hard for the grade. Either way though, it's very good and deserves more attention. I've actually heard of people going out of their way to avoid it because it is so hard for the grade. But pretend for a second that it's got a higher grade on it. Now do you want to get on it? This is Next Dimension, the hardest 27 in the Blue Mountains, but a very good one. So it starts up this bit of a cruisy ramp, cruise up to this ledge, traverse across, got an okay jug that you're coming across to here, little clip. But as you set across back to the left here, the feet kind of disappear. Wide move out to the left, throw up the hill, and then you're kind of footless. Get a little composure here and you're about to set off up into the crux. There's a couple of ways of doing this crux. Let's just pause it for a second here and have a look at how short Norrie's shorts are. They're not even making it down past his leg loop. It's a scary belay, let me tell you. Big move up with the left hand. And then you get this high right toe and up into a pretty good kind of three finger pocket slot thing. Little clip. And then left hand onto that brick pinch, flip the right. Got to get your body nice and high here. Up to that wide move to the brick pinch again. And jump up to the break. It's a bit of a burly way of going about that crux sequence. And there's a tic tac -y way as well. I'll throw it to Amanda and she can let you know how that works. Thanks Tom. Awesome route. And yes, my sequence has to be a bit different to his. Uh, a little bit shorter than him, 166 centimetres tall, and not quite as burly, just a tiny bit less burly. So the positioning of my body is a bit different. Go up with your left hand to a crappy crimp, go again, throw your body up to the next crimp, get your right toe up and push really hard from one leg to the other, get into the gas dome, and throw your feet back in. Your right leg's working really hard then, holds you on for the clip, and then your right leg and your body position does all the work through the next sequence. So, Left hand's crappy, step up into that right hand under clean, out to the second left crimp, heel up, flag under to come into the slopey pinch, flag hard to go again to the jug, and then you walk your feet around and you've just got a couple of moves until you're established on the jug then. Thank you very much. So after the crux, nice kind of cruisy juggy traverse across to the left, get a bit of a chalk before heading out across this little traversy section on Quite good feet, but really kind of poor holds. It seems strange because it's quite low angle and you feel like it should be easier, but it's actually kind of hard. A few tic tac -y moves and then bust into a big ledge before the final boulder problem. So coming up this roof is Bit of a sting in the tail boulder. I think it definitely helps if you're a little bit taller because you can keep your feet on the ledge for a bit longer. It doesn't quite work that way if you're shorter. However, getting it around the lip, I think if you're taller is a little bit more awkward because there's a little bit more limb to contend with. So, swings and roundabouts. But once you frog your way up onto there, that's the anchor. Clip. Thanks for coming. So my intention for this was to try and get a little bit more hype for this route because it's very good and show people there's a couple of different ways of doing the sequences. Go check it out. It's really fun and it is definitely worth investing some time into. Enjoy.